This is Braun. It's one of my favorite wine bars and restaurants in London. It's in East London, near the Columbia Flower Market, and I love it. Come find out why I do. Braun just opened recently, and already it's massively popular. They do uh, several course dinner on Sundays, set menu for 25 pounds. Every time I come in here, it's full. Now, Braun is actually the sister restaurant to Terroir. The Terroir is in uh, right near Trafalgar Square, and it's as well massively popular. Uh, it's been voted one of the best wine bars in the whole of the UK. And that's really because, again, they've kept this idea of small plates, consistently great food. It is sort of French fusion. Uh, with a bit of a British twist often, uh, but especially I think people come for these beautiful natural wines. This is a lot of the, uh, the most known winemakers that they use in both terroir and in Braun. There are a lot of the top natural winemakers in the world. Most of their list is French and Italian, but they have some Spanish. This is a friend of mine, Luca Ruania. <laughs> we get the bread from uh, E5 Bakehouse, which is in London Field, so it's like 10 minutes by walk from here. Okay. And so we try, as I said, we try to, um, to get uh, products from like, as lo locals. And we get the, the cheese from uh, Androuet, which is, which is an old famous uh, family, which is also 10 minutes by walk, oh, like probably less. And we get, well, usually chef goes there, or I go there by walk, get the yeah. cheese, and the, 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 um, the bread is delivered every yeah. morning. By bicycle. By bicycle. See, bicycle deliveries, walking down to get the cheese, that's about as local as you get. Now, what it means to be a natural wine is really just simply what's not done to the wine. Basically, it's about minimal intervention. So not only is the wine organic and biodynamic from the vineyard, but also in the winery. So it's about not adding lots of sulfites or tannins or acids to it. So you're basically trying to do as little as possible to the wine. When you have very minimal sulfites in a wine, when it's made very, very clean and pure, then obviously it makes sense that the next day, you're not gonna feel quite so awful as you did with that really big commercially produced wine. The other byproduct of making a very natural wine is that, like with apple juice, if you make natural apple juice, it's a bit cloudy. Same concept with wine. We just have to come around to the idea that it's okay for wine to be cloudy. It actually doesn't mean that it tastes any less pure. Now, the menu at Braun can be a little bit overwhelming. A lot of these wines, most of us have never heard of before, but don't worry, the staff here are incredibly knowledgeable and friendly and will really help you uh, order the kind of wine that you like. And this winemaker is really as extreme natural as it gets. Look at all that sediment in there. Tons and tons of sediment. And you actually look at the bottle and think, mm, this is not really something I'd like to drink, but then you pour it. Beautiful orange color beautiful apricots and floral. You drink it at room temperature or very, very slightly chilled. This is a wine that you could drink every day and it goes down so easily. I'll be taking this home with me tonight.